In its eight-season run, The Vampire Diaries introduced many plot elements that came across as contrived if not constituting irresolvable plot holes. Focusing on human teenager Elena Gilbert, Nina Dobrev, as she is drawn into a love triangle with vampire brothers Stefan, Paul Wesley, and Damon Salvatore, Ian Summerhalder, The Vampire Diaries depicts the exploits of a wide variety of supernatural beings. However, as each season adds to the lore with new characters and new types of magic, some contradictions take shape. There are also cases where the writers contrived events to meet the needs of the Vampire Diaries cast in real life. This is not the fault of the story and the team behind the show simply must do their best when an actor wants to leave, but people still complain about the explanations offered for certain characters' exits. Despite the weakest parts of the plot, The Vampire Diaries is still a popular show that spawned two spin-offs, fans can always at least say that The Vampire Diaries is better than Twilight. Damon's extra powers disappear after the pilot. The Vampire Diaries pilot implies that Damon can control fog and crows. The first episode of The Vampire Diaries seems to be heading in the direction of including the extra powers Damon has in the books. In the source material, Damon can turn into a crow and somewhat manipulate the weather. A scene in the pilot involves Elena writing in her journal and finding herself surrounded by fog, with a lone crow watching over her. In the brothers' first scene together, Stefan sees a crow fly into his house and seems to immediately know that Damon is present. Stefan says to Damon, Crow was a bit much, don't you think? Damon responds, wait till you see what I can do with the fog. The episode strongly implies that Damon has retained some version of his book version's abilities, but the series never follows up on this. These moments amount to aesthetic embellishments in the first episode, and Damon never demonstrates any of these additional powers again. The early storylines of the Vampire Diaries raise the stakes by having vervain, a herb that can be used against vampires, be in short supply. Stefan puts the small amount he has left in a necklace for Elena so she will be protected from compulsion in an early episode. The Salvatore's uncle, Zach, Chris William Martin, then reveals that he has been growing it, Zach is suggested to be the town's sole supplier. However, after Zach is killed, the rest of the Founders' Council all have an unexplained supply of vervain. Vervain is a tool the main characters use for years to come to deflect their vampire enemies, but the series never again addresses how they are getting it. It renders the circumstances at the beginning of the series as contrived to drive conflict only at that point in time. Vervain is supposed to be a rare plant, but there is apparently enough of it that the authorities will occasionally dump it into the town's water supply, or the coffee served at the local grill. 